welcome. Welcome to the Oscope Wizard Show. I'm Gabe, the Oscope Wizard, and I am wearing a really easy thing to wear. It is called a face mask. I've noticed when I'm out, I went to get gas today. I felt a little bit like a bandit, but I was wearing a mask, and I noticed a lot of people didn't seem to know how to wear masks, so I just wanted to show you. It's pretty easy. You just pick one up, flip it on, and you know what this mask does? This mask lets me go out and see the world again and hang out with my friends, maybe, which I haven't been doing a whole lot of, and I miss them, and I'm ready to get back out there. So I just figured that I would show people, like Mr. Rogers used to show people how to do things. It's pretty easy. I start the show easy. We are on a quest, which I've talked about quite a bit, trying to build a DIY, do-it-yourself, Sono-style amplifier. Um, I've told the story about a Sonos amplifier, tried to make it work, wouldn't work. So now I'm going to build my own out of a tiny little amplifier board and a Raspberry Pi. So what we're actually going to do today is choose an OS. And we're going to do Mood Audio. Mood Audio versus um volumio that's another alternative operating system versus mac these are the three different operating systems that we're going to choose from either mood audio volumio or max to play and i debated on how to show this i wasn't exactly sure how to show it um but what i've come up with is a plan to load the operating system from scratch um then we're going to watch the boot sequence to see how that works. I'm not exactly sure how the boot sequence works because all three of these operating systems are designed to be operated through the web interface. And we do have a goal today. I want to get music going from my iPad to my Raspberry Pi. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My holder has popped out. There we go. To my Raspberry Pi. And my Raspberry Pi is hooked up to some speakers, so ultimately today we're gonna get some music going. And also, I have a game that I love to play. So two things that I wanna do outside is listen to music and then play this game called Drop Mix. Uh, let's back up a little bit. Drop Mix. Uh, you download Etcher. Um, I think Etcher actually works on Windows and Mac OS. It automatically goes to the SD card that you insert. So if you have an SD card inserted, that is the one it picks. Then you select the image. Hey, good morning. Good morning. More folks are joining. Thanks so much for joining. So let's pick, let's pick um, Max to play. Actually, let's pick Volumio first. So I'm going to pick Volumio, um, open it up, and hit flash. Now my etcher is done. I pop my flash drive out. Let's go back to my drive and pull it out of the adapter here. Pull these off the top. I'm going to flash those off camera and insert the flash drive into the Raspberry Pi. Now we're going to power it. So one of the cool things about the Hi-Fi Berry amplifier is it provides power to the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to use my 24 volt power supply here, um, turn it on. Now we are powering up and I'm going to crank up, uh, whoops, wrong button. Crank up my boot screen. I should see a boot screen here in a second, I hope. We'll see. <laughs> okay, let's make sure my captured. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're getting something. So this is the Raspberry Pi up, uh, allegedly. The first boot of uh, Raspberry Pi takes a little bit of time. So here we go. Volumio. We're starting Volumio. Once it boots, I'll be able to switch to the web interface because generally you would configure all of these uh, with a web interface. Here is the initial, initial setup for Volumio. Oh my goodness, is it rebooting? Um, I want to do English language. I want to name it Volumio. 
I would like to choose the Hi-Fi Berry amplifier because that is the amplifier that I have plugged in. So hopefully I will get sound out. I do have it plugged into speakers. Um, there's a little joke that the number one, the number one <laughs> for all computers is Reboot, and that is so true. But tailor the user experience. Um, let's just hit next on that. Uh, I, I am going to do. Do I need to connect to a Wi-Fi? I just don't, I don't care about the Wi-Fi. I think I'm going to just stick with Ethernet for now. Um, and then I don't want to do, donate. I just want to check it out. So it says that the Hi-Fi Berry amp has been enabled, but I need to restart to hear the to for the changes to take effect. So let me restart the system. So if I go back over to my capture here, I can see it restarting. So here's the right. I added the capture so that we could the the video capture of the Raspberry Pi so that I could see it restart because this is kind of a you just get kind of lost in the ether whether it's restarting or not. I think it is restarting, but I'm never sure. How are we looking for the Lumio? Is booting up? Okay, hey, we're booted up. So now if I go back to my desktop, it should be booted up. Is it booted up? Is it booted up? Okay, the output device is not available. Hmm. Hmm, okay. We're not going to panic. This is part of it. So let's go into my set. Um, and this is how easy, this goes to how easy an operating system is to set up. How hard is it to figure out um, the system? So where do I think it would be? I think it would be in system. I th think that, where would I pick it? So I'm wanting to know where the audio setup would be. It does feel like it would be in system, right? Show full system settings. <laughs> these, these settings should be uh, done by experts only. I'm an expert? I don't know if I'm an expert. I would not consider myself an expert. I'm just trying to figure out how to make this thing work. Playback option. Okay, so ah, there we go. Playback options right there in my face. Put device. Let's change it. So I've had success in the past by telling it that's the Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus. Um. Oh man. So I uh, man. I don't want the output to be audio jack. I want it to be the Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus. So let's see that configuration. Update player successfully. Did. Do you actually? Okay, it looks like. Do you have to reboot after that? Um, you know what? If I go over to my setup, let's see if I can get sound out to this Hi-Fi Berry Badak. So I have my Raz, or I have my iPad, my good old iPad. I'm going to try to use my iPad to send some sound out via AirPlay. So Volumio does show up as an AirPlay option on my iPad, which is a thumbs up. That's a good sign. I'm going to select Volumio and then just play a song and see if sound happens. It is still trying to connect. And is it connected? It's not connected. I kind of expect, oh, what is it doing here? I kind of expected to say AirPlay. Um, let's find out if that works. Unable to connect. Oh, you know what? Volumio had to reboot when I select, I just heard uh, a, the boot up time. So it had to reboot when I selected that DAC. Um, that wasn't entirely clear to me from the process. Uh, so now I'm connected to the Volumio via AirPlay. If I hit play, let's see if actual noise happens. Uh, noise did happen. And then it cut off. Um, 
it shows it plain. It shows it plain right here. And it showed me. Re there we go. There we go. I don't know if you can hear that, but there is music going on in the background. It's a little bit choppy. It's not really playing consistently, which ugh, not a beautiful. Okay, let's pause. I don't know. I don't know. This it's not as it's not going as awesome as I'd hoped. I would have hoped that it was better. It is real choppy. I would say this is kind of a mm, not a great review for Volumio. If I just went to so let's pause that. That might be you know what maybe I am jumping off the deep to go through the shallow end. <laughs> Oh, start the tap dance. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Hold on. There's five minutes left, guys. Five minutes left um, on today's episode. Does sound support for WABE ARC? Oh my gosh. That's working well. That's working well. That might be a little, little aggressively loud. How do I turn this down? Let's turn this down. Um, okay. That's working. So the web radio interface appears to be working pretty well. Um, why is the AirPlay not working that well? I wonder. I go over here. I just just what I played. I don't even know what that does. Remove that from the queue. If a user interface is not intuitively obvious, I get frustrated really quickly. Everybody does. I don't think that's a Oscope wizard only trait. I think that's an everybody trait. Um, I'm trying to airplay again. It says it's airplane. I do hear it. Then I hear it cut off after a few seconds. So, um, hmm, hmm. What do you guys think? It's still playing in the background. You think? You think Volumio is a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I hear it occasionally play. It's really struggling. I don't know. I figured this would be like dead simple, uh, but it's not actually playing the song consistently. It's kind of going in and, and these guys are, I mean, the iPad and the uh, speakers and the Raspberry Pi are, I mean, I'm, it's all like right here. So I, I can't even get AirPlay to work with the Lumio, which is a real fast. So right out of the box, loaded it up, hit go. Airplay is only kind of only mildly consistent. So I guess that's that's that was Volumio. That was Volumio today. Uh, we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back on Baby Friday, and we're gonna check out Max to Play, and then we're gonna check out Mood Audio. And we're gonna see if any one of these three just I can load it up and have it work. So so Volumio loaded up and played the built-in audio, but was unable to do Airplay. And that is like step one, AirPlay, Spotify, Bluetooth speaker for my drop game. We failed at AirPlay. And, and I'm going to do that same thing on all three. Come back, Baby Friday. I don't know all the nerds in the world. I'd love to meet them. So share this with a nerd in your life. I'm going to hang out in the chat for a little bit. Thank you so much for watching this kind of wild review of uh, Volumio on my Raspberry Pi as we continue our quest to build a DIY Sonos style amplifier in the the music occasionally. Okay, there's a the music in the background. It did work a little bit, but now gone again. All right, guys. See you in a couple of days. Bye.